Are you also fed up using and seeing always the same boring bullet style agenda slides in all kinds of presentations? Well, glad that you're here, since I'm going to show you how you can quickly build those six inspiring but simple or even minimalistic agenda slide designs in around 90 seconds per slide or less. So let's go. Let's start with agenda slide number one. Get a suitable royalty-free picture. I got mine from pexels.com by searching for laptop. Copy the picture, paste it onto a new PowerPoint slide and crop it to the size you need. About half of the page, just ending below the title. Insert a table with five rows. Get rid of the borders, get rid of the shading. Position the table correctly. Increase the height of the individual rows to let's say 2.8. Change the font type, font size and font color. Make sure it's unbold and the text is aligned to the middle and type in your agenda items. Align the table horizontally with the picture and pull it to the right a little bit. Insert a circle, right click, format shape. Make sure its height and width are the same let's say 1.5, lock its aspect ratio, get rid of the border, color it in white, position it right next to item number one and copy and paste it four times. Mark all of the circles, change font type, font size and also font color to black and type in the numbers. Here you go, agenda slide number one is done. Of course you can always tailor this agenda slide by replacing the picture as I did in this example by showing a road. Agenda slide design number two. Again, you need a royalty-free picture for the background. I got mine from pexels.com by searching for bridge. Copy, paste the picture, insert and crop it to the size you need. In this case, I changed the color and went for grayscale. Pull it down. Now let's insert a table with four columns and two rows. Pull it down here. Get rid of the borders and the shading. Change font type and font size and font color to black. Make the text aligned to the middle. And again, let's increase borders to the left of the columns to separate them respectively. Choose a pen weight of three point and a pen color, which is a dark gray. Borders to the left. Increase the size of the table and make it perfectly aligned with the picture as well as to the middle of the slide. Increase font size in the upper row to 32 and type in the numbers of your agenda items as well as the actual text. Unbold the upper row. Finally, we need to insert our pointers or arrows. Just insert an arrow, pull it over here, make sure that it's perfectly vertical. Change the line color to again the dark gray. Also change the width to three point as well as the end arrow type to a circle. Copy and paste this arrow three times and change its size respectively. And finally, we can change the coloring of one of the agenda items that's currently discussed. Slide number two is done as well. Agenda slide example number three shows quite a simple five-step process. First, we need a horizontal black line. Let's say a width of four and a half point change the color to black. Next, we need a circle, change its full color to white. Let's choose a suitable outline color, for example, from a color palette, change its line width to six point, change font type, font color again, and font size to, let's say, 115. Type in your number and bold it. Make sure the circle is perfectly round, so let's say four times four centimeters, and make sure its aspect ratio is locked. Finally, let's align it to our horizontal line and pull it to the left a little bit. Now copy and paste the circle four times, change the color and the numbers of the circles respectively and distribute them horizontally. Finally, mark all of the elements on your slide and insert a shadow of your choice, for example, a bottom right in black. Last but not least, let's insert text boxes to indicate the respective agenda items. Make sure their text is aligned to the middle as well as right below each and every circle, as well as change the font size and font type based on your preference. And that's agenda slide design number three. Let's come to agenda slide design number four, which shows a bit more details with those second level bullets. To create it, first we need the headings. Insert a text box and type in a number, change font style and font color is already black. Font size for those numbers, let's say 54 and bold it. Also, let's insert a text box right next to the numbers where you can type in your title or whatsoever. Change again font type and also font size to let's say 20. Align it, group both and copy paste it two times. Make sure that the three elements are 
distribute it horizontally and change the numbers. To illustrate the second level bullets, let's insert an arrow just below the numbers. Make sure that it's perfectly straight. Change line color to black, line width to three point, and make sure that the end arrow type is a circle. Also align it with the agenda number. Also let's insert little circles that indicate the second level bullets. Change the shape fill to black, shape outline to white and three point. Now you can pull it onto this straight line and copy and paste it for example three times. To indicate the second level bullets let's insert a table, two columns, three rows, pull it down here, decrease its size, get rid of the borders and the fill, change the row height to 1.6, row width of the first column to 2 cm and of the second column to 6 cm, change font size in the first column to 20 and let's bold it and in the second column 16 and unbold. Finally, change font color to black and align the text to the middle and let's type in the lower level bullet numbers and the text respectively. Finally, make sure the table is perfectly aligned with those little circles. Now you can copy and paste this bottom part just by marking everything and control shift and pulling it to the right. And if you want to highlight, for example, the second item that you're currently talking about, just change the colors. Agenda slide design number five is super simple. Just insert a classic table with three columns and four rows. Pull it down here. Get rid of the borders as well as the shading. Change font type and font style as well as font color for the entire table. Let's say Open Sans 18 is fine. Black text color. Align the text to the middle and change now the column width. First column, let's say three centimeters. Second column, let's say 24.5 and third column, let's say 4.5. Finally, increase the height of the rows to 3.5. And now let's insert the text and the numbers. Also change the font size of the first column to let's say 40. Make also sure that the individual rows are separate from each other. This is why we're going to insert borders on top and below. So choose, let's say a dark gray with pen weight one and a half, choose upper and lower border. Last but not least, you can insert icons on the right that fit to the respective agenda items. Go to insert, choose icons and choose five suitable ones. Insert them and distribute them horizontally to the fitting agenda item. And if you wanna highlight one of the items, just change the text color as well as the icon color. Alternatively, you can use such a simple table agenda slide by changing the icons and shifting the text a little bit. So for example, putting the icons on the left and insert the respective duration of the items on the right hand side. Last, let's create agenda slide design number six. Insert simple text boxes, choose the respective size, let's say height of 14 and width of four centimeters, choose white fill color, and a black border, let's say two point. And also let's choose an outer black shadow. Now insert the agenda item number. So let's click on the box, type in one, change font type, font size and font color to black. Let's say font size 40 and bold it. And let's also align it to the top and increase the border at the top of the text box a little bit, let's say to one centimeter. Now copy and paste this text box six times. Align all of the text boxes horizontally, group them and align them to the middle of the slide. Now you can change the numbers. Now you can insert text boxes to insert the title and maybe a short description. Make sure it's aligned to the middle. Font size is the one that we have on the entire slide. And let's copy and paste it also, you can insert icons that fit to the respective agenda item. So go to the insert tab icon and choose seven suitable ones. Decrease their size a little bit and distribute them respectively. Make sure they're aligned perfectly. And finally, you can highlight one of the agenda items that you're currently presenting just by choosing a different border color, increase its line width, for example, to four, and also change the font color, increase the number and also change the icon color. To make it stand out a little bit more, you can also 
ungroup again those boxes and increase the size of the box. So let's say it's now 15 and 5. So it stands out a little bit better. Another alternative to this slide design is this one where you can just play around with the shapes and the size of the boxes a little bit. So that's it for today's video. I highly recommend just using one of those slide designs and tailor it based on your individual preferences. Don't forget, there's almost no limits to PowerPoint. Let me know in the comments down below which of the slide designs you like most. And don't forget to subscribe and also give the video a thumbs up if you could get inspired by one of the slide designs.